What's happening folks, it's your boy Pixel Machine here coming back at you with a brand new Let's Play series for the PlayStation 5 and today I'm playing Immortals of Avium. I hope that you are all living a great day out there and let's get into this. So Immortals of Avium is a first person shooter that has been developed by Ascendant Studios and it has been published by EA. And unlike most traditional FPS games where you use guns, knives, swords and grenades to slay your enemies in this game, you are casting spells straight from your bare hands. Fireballs, icicles and what have you looks pretty cool. The gameplay seems to be very similar to Ghostwire Tokyo, which I thought was a very fun game. And hopefully this game is just as fun. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get straight into this. Let's start a new game. Let's choose Magnus Recommended, a balanced experience that will challenge most players. Let's go. Braided lords of Kelthus surrender to shelter. Their magna burned alive as they watched. Stripped of magic, the armies of Glaivegate fell. To Sandrak, the bold and terrible tyrant of Rayshard. They called him their ruler, as he was of east and west. And the horns of their ancestors trumpeted blood. Protest. Hardcore. Hush. Passage to the oh, it's a play. of Oroman was secure. The Sky Islands. Careful. The ever I'm being approached careful. With wings. As careful as last time. Careful. Uh. <laughs> That's not a word. Your wide as he spoke. Declaring the Magni of their order now vanished. Damn, you think Sandrak really talks like that? I'm concentrating. Maybe he bores his enemies to death. I'm Hidden from concentrating. the faces of the Pantasad, but. Mine! <laughs> but I am not. But I am not. He looks like the main villain from Power Rangers. I am. I'm wondering every third word. Distracted. Go, go, go. Cares about Arsene Norman. Hold it up. Sandrak's coming our way. Ow. <laughs> Got it. Let's go. Hey, wait up. Luna. Over here, Jack. Look at this place. Quite the shanty town. Oh, and it's affixed to this massive bridge. That's pretty cool. I can see nicer looking houses up top. Chapter one, streetwise. Right, let's look around. So we are in Seren South Town. Love the look of this place. Pretty cool design. Follow Luna. After you. Nice. Pretty cool. Better park off. How much did we get? <laughs> we. I provided moral support. <laughs> Maybe the others made out better. One can hope. Did Caleb ever tell you his plans for this caper he's got in mind up in Topside? I think he just likes to say caper. Uh, caper. Cape. Caper. It's a fun word. <laughs> it feels sneaky. So also, we can double jump. Stay out of Topside. Kind of feels like Doom, especially when you float back down like that. Pretty nice. No one's using the cargo lift. Come on. So I wasn't paying attention. What was the play about? 
um, Kalthus surrendered to Sandrak, and then he burnt all their magna. Alive. Well, that's not nice at all. What kind of message does that send? A boss one, the I'm evil me. kind, and then he's an asshole. Yeah, he's an asshole. Let's go with that. Message? We do have a timer. Sandrak's just an asshole. <laughs> he had them beat. Why would he? Just send a message. That's the whole thing we're talking about. What, like surrender to Rashan and we'll only slaughter a few of you? What's Can't happening to her face? Jack? It's going like What's really blurry omelet? and blocky. Never mind. Like there's a lot of aliasing. Through the market. So can hold down. I'm not going to read this out aloud. But if I'm taking too long, just nudge it along like 10 or so seconds. Right. And just Let's pause it if I'm reading contest. faster than you, which I doubt. <laughs> the market seems kind of dead tonight. There's talk of a bunch of airships coming into dock. Some hivers probably think they can make easy money unloading cargo. Maybe that's what we should have done instead of stealing from the hat guy. He was a bust. By any metric, a man with a hat indicates a perfectly respectable mark. That sounds <laughs> made up. Hey, is it Zelda? I really need to get back onto that game, by the way. Been like a month now. <laughs> right, I guess we're going up. So, when are you going to tell them? Are you going to tell them? Maybe, I don't know. It feels late for it now. You made it late. Because I hate goodbyes. Sure, I get that. Seren. Yeah, so it's built on a giant bridge. Yeah, so top side where the rich live, and then the underbridge where the rest of us struggle to survive. So obviously a story of rich and poor, and the divide. Yeah, a fair bit of ghosting as well. Something weird's going on. I think it could be the FSR. Oh. What's up? Uh, you're in no hurry to get back. No. You're thinking how much you're going to miss this garbage heap. Please, would you? Don't call my home a garbage heap. I don't want to spend my life living above a bottomless hole in the ground, Jack. We don't technically know if the wound is totally bottomless. All signs point to yes. They'll be okay, Luna. I'll watch over them. We. I've got an idea. Yep, what's this? So we have a notice. I think that says Lurge Notice. Do not enter. Your safety is our concern. Okay. <laughs> Eviction Notice. And potential incineration. Is that this place? Or the person who is still living here? <laughs> bit ash. Oh, a bit ash either way. Target practice? Why not? It's our civic duty as citizens of the Seren Underbridge. It's janitorial work. Probably would have made more money clearing off these large barnacles than we did at that play. Fair. You're all about duty right now, aren't you? Nice. You'll make a good soldier. I hear they give better uniforms to the lightless that can summon a little magic like this. There's a war, Jack. It's not about the uniform. Or maybe it's better boots. <laughs> Cheese, Jack. Wait, what? Soldiers get to eat real cheese. Boots are just extra. Very marvelous dialogue. Rashawn's a lot of quips and no what have you. Little jokes. Make corporal, I can even buy land. The whole farm just full of boots. <laughs> Look, I know I keep saying I get it, but I don't. Not really. 
You're the first person I've met that actually wants to fight in the Ever War. No one escapes the draft, Jack. They do all the time. You're not even going to try. Besides, I don't want to fight in the Ever War. I want to fight for Lucium. Exactly the same thing. Just shut up and shoot. Right, target practice. Let's have a look at the Ever War. Lucium and Rashan. So let's test this. R2. Pretty nice. Doesn't feel like there's any aim assist though. It's quite sensitive actually. Yeah. Overshooting it a bit. When they ship you off to fight in the Ever War, where do you think they'll end up sending you? Who knows? Maybe I have just enough magic not to be considered lightless and I'll have a say in where they send me. A Magnus gets a say. Probably. No offense, but what we do is kind of like. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> a Magnus is like. Pow, bing. Again, very marvelous. I mean, it's not even a contest. <sighs> yeah, some magic might as well mean no magic as far as the Magna are concerned. Magic and Magni. Life stew from here. Pretty sure the whole neighborhood can. You know, everything he cooks tastes vaguely like regret. <laughs> We're home. Nice. Hello. Jack! Whoa! No love for the boss? Come here. Are you leaving us? You turn 16 in the morning. 16? And that's when the soldiers fail into the army because <laughs> Jack said life is unfair. Or you could ignore the draft like a normal person. Happy birthday. No one tells me anything. How'd you score? <sighs> We're officially the worst street thieves in Saren. Hopefully Caleb redeems us. <sighs> Dug this out at the back of Trotter's place. I guess we can act like it's cake. Yum. Oh no, <laughs> you're not eating that. Mm. Shoot. Sure. Probably wise. The stew's almost ready anyway. Grab us some tubers from up top, Jack. Sure thing. Tubers? Let me know when Caleb gets here. I've got something I want to tell you all. Like that you're leaving us. Shut up, you. Home. So, it seems as though Luna's kind of like the mother around here, even though she's just about to turn 16, somehow. <laughs> I swear she looks like she's about to turn 30. She must be lying. <laughs> Talk to Fife or whatever he's called. What do you put when it's someone's birthday? What? Birthday stew. What goes in it? Huh? Yeah, that's not a thing, Fife. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> Want to try it? Take sip. I know you two have all day. And... <laughs> it's the snails that really seal the deal. Oh, lovely. Ever tried a snail? Yeah, it kind of looks like Doom as well. Not in the aesthetic, but it has like these chunky objects and everything. And it feels like Doom in terms of movement, especially this jump. The way you glide back down. So, anything else in here? Pretty cool place, by the way. Hey up, young'un. What are you doing, Rugrat? Stole some posters, adding them to my scrapbook. Wanna see? Sure. But what's with you stealing posters? It's part of the historical record, Jack. Yeah, look at her face. It's Join all like blurry. Fire. No thanks. A lot of aliasing this or something. Propaganda is going to rot your brain. Oh, it looks like there's a is mesh on it or to something. Luna? I don't know. Brain rot. Is that why she's joining the Lights Army in the morning and leaving us? Yes, uh, sir. Let's lie. <laughs> no one said anything about Luna leaving. 
I'm not a big dummy, Jack. I know you're not. You don't have to try and protect me. Yeah, well, I'm always gonna. Got a book here. Oh, I'm supposed to hold it down. There we go. <laughs> Lightless in the Lanks army, bloody hell. Bear with me. Again, just nudge it along if I'm taking too long. Can I open this? Boom, there we go. Four gold. Sorry to steal from you. <laughs> yeah, I'm digging this house up. Pretty cool. Pretty nice room. A few things here. Luna's deed, bloody hell. Keep forgetting. There we go. Nice. There we go, hold it down. I don't know why it's like that in games, in this day and age, where you have to hold everything down to interact with something. Don't know why a tap isn't sufficient, but there we go. <laughs> Maybe we can change it in the options, not sure. For an initial period of 12 years. Bloody hell. By a while. That TV. Oh no, like a record player. I thought that was a TV at first. I didn't see that down below. I know you told him. I yeah, look not. at the well, shadow on the bed out. from her arm. It's not like it was hard to figure out Weird. you're leaving. You're packing bags, you're crossing out days on the calendar, you're reading big fat official looking books of, what is it this time? The officer's manual of lights, army regulations. See, no way that gave away the store, right? <sighs> what are you thinking? Would you rather fight a hundred foot tall crab or one hundred one foot tall crabs? One. The day may come. I would say one one hundred. You should seriously think about it. Foot tall crab, yeah. Like a Vecchi crab or a crab crab. Does it matter? It's a hundred feet tall. One foot tall crab, still then quite thick. Fine. The hundred foot tall one. <laughs> Why that one? There is glory in that one. <laughs> Idiot. Look, I'm seriously innocent. They just figured it out. Yeah, I know. I just don't want to know that they know. Not yet. I'm sure we'll all act surprised when you finally tell us. I'm gonna. Just... just let me know when Caleb's back. I'll do it all in one big go. Bloody hell, fair bits go through here. Okay. Babs sounds pretty sad. Babs is going to miss you. It'll be good for her. She'll be in charge before you know it. Already acts like she is. She's a natural. Fife has a guilty look. Because he's eating us out of house and home. All those apples you nicked yesterday? Gone. <laughs> those were supposed to last a week! They lasted an hour. Caleb's out late. I approved it. He's a good earner. Something's been really off with him lately. He's just impulsive. He'll grow up. You all will. So what's in that book of yours? Lights Army Regulations, duh. Sure, but like, the worst one. You have to wear a surprising number of reflective belts. <laughs> what? No, I mean it. Maintaining the grounds at the keep? Reflective belt. Directing constructs to clear the roads? Belt. 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 I didn't expect the Everwar to be so safety first. Or so polite. I'm going to have to learn like 20 different salutes depending on Magnus officer ranks and the color of magic they use. Unless it's a foreign dignitary, then it's a weird kind of ancient curtsy. 
you, you know it's just going to be trenches and spell smoke, right? Night blades hacking away at everyone. Yeah, probably. You should keep quiet about being from Saren. What do you mean? The Lucians. They don't really like us. Only because we constantly say that Saren isn't really part of Lucium. But it's not. Seen a map lately? Maps don't count. All right, they, they just do that so they can conscript us into the Light's army. Just don't say anything, okay? Saren is home. It's a ramshackle wonderworld built by the lost, the low, the lightless in the margins. Hanging above the wound with all the defiance her forebears passed on to their children. There's no finer city in Lucium than Saren, rickety in everything but faith. That's what I'm going to say, and you can't stop me. So, learn Just anything about new <laughs> about the Magni in your book? Just that Magni don't have to actually read it. What, like they have their own book? Wouldn't know. That's a different world from ours. The only time the regulations mention the Magni is when it's about how to do exactly what they say because they know best. Psh, you're probably smarter than half of them. Magic can't conjure wit. Ben Tilly used to say that before, you know, she mysteriously disappeared. See you later. All right. See you at dinner. You bet. Right, let's head through here. Where's our room like? Yeah, pretty cool place. Reminds me of only up. <laughs> So there's some stairs here, maybe our rooms up here. We'll be through that. There's our tubers. Alright, Jack. Just remember to be super supportive of her when she tells everyone at dinner. Well she maybe not. That's the outside, okay. Ah, some more stairs here. Oh, it's this room. Didn't notice those stairs earlier. So let's head back to the kitchen. There he is. Happy birthday, Luna. I hit it big tonight. Think fast. Your present, such as it is. What's that in it? Pentasad. No shit, I mean the swirly stuff. Looks like snow. What's snow? I don't know, wintertime shit. They say it's in Calthus all the time. Looks pretty as all. Oh! Caleb! Well, yeah, I'm sorry. Move your hand, let me see. Constable got a lucky shot. I'll be ah! Oh, damn it, Jack! It's not good. Did they follow you? You got yourself hurt over this thing. Careful, Caleb. Your guts are split. Why didn't you? I didn't want to ruin your birthday at all. That's dumb. Jack, come on. We need medicine. I've got an idea. Explain on the way. You guys, watch him. Get the rags and the water, and don't let him sleep. You know how to do this. We'll be quick. So, what's the plan? I'm still making it up, but I'm pretty sure it's this way. You're making it up? It's gelling. Have faith. <laughs> That's great. Caleb's gonna be all right. Right, let's save Caleb. Again, I love this location. in the East Nets and Harrow's Edge. That's the mark. That's, uh... That's the they'll-kill-you kind of place, Luna. Noble means rich. Rich means magic. Magic means... What? I don't know. Healing crystals or something. Drugs from Topside. I mean, I don't have a better idea. Yeah. No, 
This this is smart. They say he's old. He'll have all kinds of medicine. It's a good play. The hive. This is our map, which we have seen before. Right, big actually. Can't zoom out anymore. Get rid of these. We're in no rush. <laughs> Only have someone just, like you know You're bleeding to death. <laughs> Ooh, what's that? It's just green essence. This kind of thing comes naturally to you. Like it's so natural, you didn't even know what our plan was going to be when we headed out, and now, bam! Here's how we're getting out of this. Let's just read that. Wanted notice. The bridge rats. Okay, a gang of thieves. You're going to do great when I'm gone, Jack. Yeah, this looks nice. Pretty cool shot. She's sprinting, but it looks like we're walking. <laughs> Hell, all right. Those are Lights Army soldiers. You're a new Lights Army and Night Blades. The ever war is fought between the Lights Army of Lucium and the Night Blades of Rashan. I think it is. Okay. So Best those are the two Funny. warring armies. Looks like they're in a hurry. What do you think they're doing here? I don't know. It's weird. Over there, that manor. That's where we're going. Huh. Okay then. Game face, Jack. Ooh, yep. One gold. We're rich. Can we blow this up? No. Ooh. Very gold. I don't know what any of this stuff is. Looks pretty fancy. What color is? Life magic. Life magic? Look, I don't know. I think it's green. Just look for green. <laughs> well, all I can see is gold at the moment. Hostile Nightblade activity on the top side. Okay. Let's have a look around. through that no yeah look over there it's so blurry it's not crisp I mean this should be upscale to 4k so it should look a lot finer than that I can't tell why it is it's not pixelated but it's not aliasing either God knows why it is. I think it's something to do with the FSR. Basically, FSR renders a game at a lower resolution and then upscales it to your screen's resolution, whatever it is. So my screen is a 4K screen. So let's say the base resolution for this game is rendered at 720p. It'll be then upscaled to 4K, but it won't be real 4K. And that allows Obviously, this is played on the PS5, so that allows the PS5 to squeeze some more frames and get some better performance. Because it thinks it's being rendered at 720p, but we're trying to get 4K image by using FSR. So there's no fidelity or performance mode in this game, so they've just gone straight to relying on this FSR, which is made by AMD, I believe. And I'm not sure if it's 
actually working in this game's favour. Might not be the FSI, it could just be something else. But there's something weird going on. And this game looks truly amazing on specs out PCs, you know, like something with like a 4080, 4090, something like that. That's a graphics card, by the way. It looks truly next gen on a decent PC. But it's a shame. It just seems as though the PS5 and Series X just can't really handle these next gen games still. Especially the third party ones. But I can tell that this would look awesome on a really decent PC. A shame. Still, doesn't look too bad. But just some weird goings on. <laughs> so something here. Ah, the old book. There's a lever. And then the shelf. Will reveal a secret path. Or a secret room. She got to say nothing. Right, let's do this. Oh, there's a button, I think. I was expecting oh, to be hey, pulling a book. Check it out. <laughs> out from the shelf. Ooh. Oh shit. You didn't say he was a Magnus. Do you know how to work a sigil? Pfft, no, you don't either. Details. Just open it or whatever. Crystal locks. Shoot crystal locks with the matching colour to open doors or trigger switches. Okay, so I'm guessing we'll have the matching colour for this already. There we go. Subtle. Is that your <laughs> definition of being careful or... Whoops. What are we going to do with it? Wiggle it at Caleb? Maybe. What, what do you mean, maybe? Oh god, here we go. Here. Oh, let's run. run. Come on, this way. Which way? <laughs> That's the city of Where are you? Uh, just for us, Saren's being attacked. Oh. Air raid. Is that? Jesus, that's a big girl. Sandrax attacking the city. We have to get back to the others. Come on. We've got to get home. I'm following you. Move it, Jack. I'm trying. You're in front. <laughs> Hurry. Bloody hell. Oh no, they're slaughtering everyone. Keep moving. Come on, come on. We've got to get back. There's a chance they're not dead. They know what to do in a raid. We made them practice. You did. I made jokes the whole time. Feel guilty later. Ah! Are you all right? Right. Right behind you. Almost there. It's just up ahead. The effects look pretty nice. Yeah, there's lots of blurring and pixelation in fast movements. How are you already a soldier? I'm just acting like I figure they act. Jack! Luna! Come on! We can make it! 
shot. Get down. Oh crap. Are they gone? Shit. Revenge time. You aren't done here, asshole. What are you doing? Just run, Jack. It's okay. No, don't! Crap. Luna's gone as well. Luna. Hey up. It's turning. Bloody hell. Throw us straight into it, why don't you? Can't see shit. <laughs> oh, so many visual effects on screen all at once. Look at this. <laughs> no idea, I'm just gonna jump. There's no evade button. <laughs> Help, mate. Literally couldn't see a thing. Look cooler. They have names for what you are. An unforeseen. A candle of Shaled. A child of the rivers. Lucky. In this case, yes. The next time it happens, it might kill you. We're driving the Rasharnians back from Saren. But you aren't safe here anymore. They'll hunt you down. You'll need help. Jack. You'll need help, Jack. I'm Grand Magnus Kirkin of the Order of Immortals, Field Marshal to the Light's Army. You can add late to all that. Fine. I know who you are. Seen the posters. Join the fight. So, Jack... Are you going to? I'm guessing we have. The power inside you. It comes from the ley lines. All magic in this world does. And those of us lucky enough to be able to catch that magic can make it do almost anything we want. Okay, back up. This world? That's right. There's another under this one. The Shrouded Realm. That's where magic starts. Where the ley lines pour out from. Look at them, Jack. Try to see the web they make. Do I have to close my eyes or something? Uh... No. No, not at all. Just look at that ley line there, and then let yourself 
see through it. Cover Avium like a net, bathing it in magic. This is why we fight in the Ever War. Politics, land, ideologies, all of that is secondary to the control of magic. Who's we? The Magni Orders. The armies those orders command. Now that the other kingdoms are either lost or scattered, only Lucium remains to resist the tyrant of Rashan. More and more, he drives all forces into the dream itself, casting them down into that bottomless hole under the watching judgment of the Pentasod. If it approves or not, it's never bothered to tell us. Almost out of time, Jack. Sandrak attacks us from all sides, and there is no place left to run. I know what you're about to say, but I'm not a soldier. I'll fix that. Like the start of a TV show or something. Mortals of Avium. <laughs> Literally is. So I'm guessing that's going to be the end of the first chapter, so I am going to end it here. So if it goes straight into the next chapter, which I think it will, I'm just going to pause it if I can. This is pretty cool. Bit of a different type of intro. Again, very much like a TV show. And this music is damn loud in my ears. I hope that you can hear me okay. I might be shouting a little too much. <laughs> There we go. Literally like a TV show. <laughs> so the game went straight into the second chapter there, so I decided to cut it. Really enjoying this game so far. I think it's got a lot of potential, and I'm excited to play some more of it. But until next time, this is your boy Pixel Machine signing out. Please hit that like button and please subscribe if you haven't already it would be most appreciated and it would help out an awful lot have a good one folks peace see ya